Hi everybody, in the last video we developed a space state system that relates the input and the output variables. We have to take in account that the input variables are the velocity of the wheels. In this video we are going to develop a simpler model. This model is easiest to implement on a microcontroller. In this model is calculated the velocity of the wheels based on a linear velocity and the angular velocity. Then let's go to see that. In this video, we are going to talk about unicycle model. It's a reduced model. In the last video, we saw that we have some equation, an equation that describes the, the movement of the car in the space. Those are our equation. Velocity in X is velocity of the right wheel, velocity plus velocity in the left wheel over two, cos phi, velocity, in white is the uh, same equation the only thing that differs is in sine of phi and the, the angular velocity is the difference between velocity in the right wheel left in the uh, with the velocity in the left wheel over L L is the distance between uh, between the wheels those is a system that I described for a model, a differential model with two wheels. But right here we are going to describe another model that is very interesting. That model makes that only things in this triangle. Triangle is is a car, something like that. It's a car and only have a linear velocity b and has the angular velocity omega. And the equation that describes these systems is very similar to that. It's something like velocity in x is the velocity, the linear velocity, cos phi. The velocity y is the linear velocity, sine phi. And the omega velocity is the change of the angular position. Those are my equations. And why are you doing that? Why I, I am develop a, a new a new model, a reduced model? Because uh, this system thinks in the velocity of the wheels. That thing in the velocity in the wheels is complicated sometimes. It's, it's better to try to say to the system what is the velocity, what is the linear velocity and what is the angular velocity. With those two variables, with those two variables, calculate what is the velocity in the right wheel and the left wheel. But right here we are going to develop what are the velocities of the wheels in reference to the linear velocity and angular velocity. How we are going to do that? If we compare this model, we could, we could see that the linear velocity is equal to this. Is equal to V sub R plus V sub L over 2. This is the linear velocity. And angular velocity, omega, is equal to this equation. There is no change over L. Those are my equations, but I wanted to know what is the velocity and the right wheel relate with the velocity uh, linear and the angular velocity. We are going to try to find what is V sub R and V sub L in terms of the linear velocity and angular velocity. Entonces, V sub R, if we try to do that in this equation, V sub R is equal to 2b, 2b, 2, this 2 pass to the other uh, side, 2b minus b sub l. Though this is the equation 2b sub r. If I replace this equation to this, 
So we have right here Omega. I could pass this L for the other side. And then B sub R is 2B sub L minus B sub L minus B sub L. Right here we have Omega L equal to 2B minus 2B sub L. And right here, I could uh, let the B sub L in what in one side. Then B sub L is equal to omega. Um, okay, this pass to another side. Two B sub L minus omega L over two. This is the equation that relates B sub L. But I could develop more of that equation. Uh, the two with this two and omega L over two. This, this is the final equation. That is the equation that relates the velocity in the left wheel with the linear velocity and the angular velocity of our car. This is very important. If we, I, I could say. Uh, the linear velocity and the angular velocity and I could know what is the velocity of the left wheel left wheel so if I replace this equation to this equation I could the velocity of, uh, of the right wheel right here b sub r is equal to 2b minus B plus omega L over 2 and then B sub R B sub R is equal to B plus omega L over 2 and this is my other equation I have the equation 1 and this is the equation 2 this is the velocity uh, of the left wheel relate to the linear velocity and angular velocity of my car and right here I have the linear velocity of the, the wheel uh, the right wheel uh, is about is related with the linear velocity of my car and the angular velocity of my car if you think in that those are the velocities of the wheels that is the equation that I'm going to implement in the system if we want the car goes in a straight line we could say that omega is equal to zero is equal to zero then right here if Omega is equal to zero, this is zero and this is zero. So B sub L is equal to B, a velocity, a linear velocity. If B sub R is equal to B. So in that case, in that case, the, the linear velocity uh, of the of the wheels is the same. It's the same. He goes in a straight line. But if omega is higher than zero. Uh, we could say that omega is equal to 1 imagine something like that no, higher than 0 right here we could say that all this thing is 1 and all this thing is 1 suppose that suppose that this part is 1 so b sub l, b sub l is equal to b minus 1 so uh, b sub l is less than b is, is less than b and B sub R is equal to B plus 1 so B sub R is high is, is bigger than B so the right wheel goes faster than the left wheel then the car is turning in a angular velocity higher than zero that equation describes uh, the behavior of our car that is amazing
Ok, summarizing this video, we developed two important equations that describe the velocities of the wheels based on the linear velocity and angular velocity. You will see that those equations are required on the implementation of the Arduino platform. I hope that this video will help you. In the next video, we are going to talk about the encoder technology and we will ready to begin the building and implementation of this project.